On the 1st of September 1939, Germany invaded Poland. Within three days, Britain, France and their empires were at war with Hitler's Reich. Newspapers, newsreels and radio commentators loudly proclaimed the beginning of the Second World War. Neutral nations reasserted their non-belligerence. Some, like Holland, Belgium and Luxembourg, wedged between the major belligerents, were armed as well as they could be and were prepared to fight for their neutrality. Others, like Denmark and the countries of the Scandinavian peninsula, Finland, Sweden and Norway, were sufficiently far from the likely fields of battle to hope that they might avoid being drawn into the conflict. Such hopes were to prove futile. Scandinavia was very important to both the USSR and Germany. The southeastern border of Finland was only 32 kilometers from Leningrad. If Finland could not convince the Soviet leader, Joseph Stalin, that she would never allow her territory to be used by Germany in an assault against the USSR, then it was likely that Stalin would take preemptive action. Ironically, Germany had not yet developed plans to attack the Soviet Union via Finland. What did concern Hitler, though, was the possibility that Britain and France would move against Norway in order to cut Germany's supplies of high-grade iron ore. This commodity, vital to Germany's war industries, was transported from the mines of northern Sweden via railway to the Norwegian port of Narvik, where it was shipped south along Norway's long and vulnerable coast. Hitler was not wrong in his apprehensions. Almost from the moment he entered the Admiralty on the 1st of September, the new First Lord, Winston Churchill, had been planning to do precisely this. So as Hitler and Stalin were dividing Poland, they and Winston Churchill were all looking north to Scandinavia. <laughs> 